Teacher Adrian here with Music Rhapsody. We are so excited to show you all of our new visuals. It's a new feature that goes with module one of recorder rookies, melody makers, and rhythm readers. So what we've done is we've taken our smart board visuals and we've converted them into PowerPoint visuals. A lot of teachers don't have access to smart board. It's an expensive program to have, but almost everybody has PowerPoint. So they're super easy to use and anyone can use them even from home for remote learning. So let me show you what we have here. I'll do a little screen share. As you can see, here is the Rhythm Readers Visual Pack for Lessons 1 through 13. That's the first module. Everything is totally divided by lesson, and all the visuals follow how the lessons are written. As you can see, our first little song is Apple Tree. I go up the apple tree. All the apples fall on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. How many apples should I buy? And this is our little B section where we start talking about silent beats and beats with sound. So for each apple, we say yum, 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 yum. yum. Um, as you can see, if I'm teaching remotely, I can use my little mouse, my cursor, to go ahead and conduct. So you can do this with your students if you have to teach via Zoom in the fall, which it sounds like some people are going to have to be doing that as the districts are making decisions about what's going to happen. Then, oh goodness, look at, I got hungry, I ate an apple, yum, 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 yum. There we go. Lots of different rhythms available that the kids can look at. And then we've got this. This is a really great new feature which allows the kids to compose right there remotely with you if you're teaching um, Zoom. It says put the slideshow in normal view. Normal view means you're not in the regular PowerPoint show. So you press escape and now you've seen all the slides on the side. And now you can drag the apples and the plates to make your own rhythm. So I can go ahead and have the kids tell me what rhythms we're gonna do. Or what I can do is with Zoom, there's a great feature called remote control and it's up at the top. And I can actually give my mouse and my keyboard control over to one of my students who's in the meeting with me. Today it's Allison. Allison! She's our media manager. I'm going to give control over to her and she's going to make her own rhythm. So I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to mute myself. That way we don't get feedback. Go ahead, Allison. There she goes. Look, no hands, no hands. I'm not doing it, it's Allison. Yep. Yum, 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 yum. Very good, Allison, yay! And the great thing about PowerPoint is that you can go ahead and make as many slides as you need to um, for whatever situation you're in. If you're doing a lesson with only three children, let's say you teach in a studio setting, then you only need three of these slides. But if you need 10 or 12, it's super easy to go ahead and make more slides, as you can see that I'm doing on the slide here. Another great thing is you can delete slides. Oh my goodness, look, for normally we do a little conductor game with woods and metals, but we don't have those, and maybe you're not gonna do it in that lesson. It's very easy just to delete those slides and now you don't have to worry about that. Um, note that for every lesson in our um, rhythm readers, melody makers, and our recorder rookies, we have student handouts. These handouts can be sent home. Um, they can be emailed to parents so that they can be printed out at home. You can do them at home via Zoom. The kids can be doing them at home on paper. Um, and once again, we've got the feature again where we can drag the apples wherever we need to. 
Um, I could give control up to one of my students again and have them fill out, show me what they did. Um, so it's, it's really great and it really does allow the kids to take a little bit of ownership in their learning. Um, another great feature about this is that we also try to make it so there's as little thinking needed as possible for a teacher. We all know we don't have enough time to plan. There's a lot to do. So everything is really scripted for you so that way you know where your lesson is going. So here's this part of the lesson. This is part of lesson two. We're singing our song. We review it. And just like in the lesson, we are going to find the rest in the first row music. The kids would say where they think it would be. And there it is. Find the rest in the second row music. There it is. In the third row, there it is. In the fourth row, there it is. Find every apple in the song, row by row. So everything is right there laid out for you so it's very easy to follow. And like I said, you can always edit, change it to whatever you need for your learning community. Um, let me see here. Another great thing about this is that online in our shop, you can go ahead and download lessons one and two of Rhythm Readers right now. What you'll get in that free download is the PowerPoint visuals or the Smartboard visuals. You'll get your lesson plan. You'll get um, the handouts. You'll get everything that goes with the curriculum for lessons one and two. If you like what you see, I encourage you to take a look at the rest of that lesson pack, lessons one through 13 for Rhythm Readers. Generally, I use Rhythm Readers for my first graders. I know teachers who use them for their, even their second graders. Um, it's, once again, you have to know your, your learners. The training will go over the entire curriculum. We'll talk about how we can use it, strategies to use them remotely, strategies to use them in person, live. Um, everything that you could possibly need will be covered in that four day training and um, you'll get access to see more of the curriculum. So I hope this could be a resource for you. Um, we're all thinking of all the music makers that are going back to school in the fall. So happy music making and have a great day.